I'm going to show you how to trade on BitUnix. But before I do though, I first want to say a couple of things. The first is that if you'd like to save 25% on your trade fees, I'll leave a sign up link in the video description. The second is that I've made a step-by-step -step tutorial video showing how to fund BitUnix in Canada. I would highly recommend watching that video if you're unsure on how to fund BitUnix yourself in Canada. I'll leave a link to that video in the video description. The last is that this video will be on the spot market only. I'll be making other videos showing how to trade on the futures market later on. This video will focus on the basics of placing limit and market orders for both the buy and sell side. With all that said, let's get started. So right now I'm on the home screen of BitUnix and what I want to do is go over here and click on spot. After it's going to take me to the trade dashboard. By default, it'll take you to Bitcoin, which you can see over here. That said, you'll first want to actually select the coin that you're interested in trading. So let's just say that I'm interested in trading Solana. So I would go over here and look it up, which I can see that it's over here. Otherwise, you could just type it in the search box, but I see it over here. So I'm just going to select it. So over here is where we want to focus on when it comes to placing trades. So right now it's on limit order and basically a limit order is asking at what price would I like to buy this coin at? So let's just say that I'm interested in buying Solana when the price is $150. Now, right now it's $159, but let's just say I want it at $150. So over here in the order price is where I'm going to enter in $150. Next, over here, I'm going to either enter in the quantity of Solana I'd like to purchase or the amount of Solana that I'd like to purchase in USDT. Now, all I need to do is enter one number in one of these boxes and the other will automatically change. As an example, let's just say that I'm interested in buying 0.1 Solana. So I'm going to enter that in right now. So 0.1. One And as you can see, this here has automatically changed. Conversely, I could enter in 10 USDT as an example, and you can see that this number here has changed. So let's just say that I'm interested in purchasing 10 USDT worth of Solana. I like what I see, and I'm just going to press the buy Solana button. So as you can see, here is my buy order. And what this means is that if the price of Solana goes to $150 US, I am going to get 0.06 Solana. So I'm just going to cancel this. And let's just say that I am interested in purchasing Solana right now at this current price. In that particular instance, we're going to need to change it up and click on the market tab. This means I'm buying it right now at this price over here, which is 159.34 or whatever it is. So basically it's the first order on the order book on the sell side. So the next thing I would need to do is to enter in the amount of Solana I'd like to purchase in USDT. With market orders, I can only enter in the amount in USDT that I'd like to purchase. They don't have a quantity box like they do with limit orders. All I need to do now is enter in the USDT. DT value of Solana I'm interested in purchasing. Again, let's just say that I'm interested in buying 10 USDT worth of Solana. So I'm going to enter in 10 and I like what I see and I'm going to click on buy Sol. As you can see, the trade has gone through and now I have a bit of Solana in my account, which you can see over here. So now that you understand how to place both limit and market orders for the buy side, let's take a look at the sell side. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on limit order. So just like before, I'm going to enter in the price that I'd like to sell Solana at in this box over here. So let's just say, for example, I'm interested in selling it at $170 or whenever Solana hits $170. There's no guarantee, but let's just say I want to sell it for $170. So I'm going to enter that in right here. So 170 and then over here, 
here, I'm going to enter in the amount of Solana I'd like to sell. So I can enter in a number over here, but let's just say I'm interested in selling all of it. So I will click on this 100% over here on this slider, and then it's going to automatically sell this much Solana at $170. So I like what I see, and I'm going to click on the sell Solana button. So again, just like I said before, if the price of Solana hits 170 US dollars, I'm going to be selling this much of it. And this is how much I'm going to get back. But let's just say that I want to sell all of it right now. I'm going to cancel this. And then I'm going to go over here to this market order button. And then just like before, I'm going to take a look over here and enter in the amount of Solana I'd like to sell. Again, you can't enter in the amount in USDT that you'd like to sell. You can only enter in the quantity of Solana you'd like to sell. And the best price is right over here on the buy side. So this is who you're selling to. You're selling it to people who are willing to pay these prices over here or whichever one is the first one. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to click on 100%. And that means I would be selling all of my Solana at this price over here. I like what I see. So I'm going to click on sell Solana. And as you can see that my order has gone through and I now have my USDT back again. In normal circumstances, you would ideally like to sell the coins higher than what you had purchased them for. In this video, I may or may not have done that and I'm okay with it as this video is for demonstration purposes only. So that's how you can place limit and market orders on the spot market on BitUnix. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.